meaning a variable flow from a hydrant. The ability to calculate the variable flow or GPM remaining in a hydrant can be of great advantage to both the pump operator and the commanding officer, particularly on the fire ground, as well as in pre-planned surveys. Remember that to be an efficient engineer, you should know as much about the water supply in your district as possible. To estimate the available flow from a hydrant, the rule is to determine the percentage of drop between static at rest and residual in motion pressures. You must know your static pressure to estimate your available flow from a hydrant. This chart shows additional water available using the percentage of loss from the intake pressure. For instance, if you have a 10% or less loss, which is the difference between the static and the residual pressure, you'll be able to supply three more like volumes as the original line. If you have a loss of 11 to 15%, you will only be able to allow for two more like volumes. And if you have a loss between 16 and 25%, you'll be able to deliver the same amount of water through your original line. If you have a loss greater than 25%, more water might be available, but not as much as being delivered. The chart shows a loss assumed by supplying one fire attack line, which will mean your residual pressure. This chart assumes you already know your static pressure. To determine your percentage of loss, you must subtract your new residual pressure from your original static pressure. The next slide shows an example. Estimating available flow from a hydrant. To estimate the available flow from a hydrant, the following must be applied. Note the static pressure on the compound gauge after the hydrant has been opened to let the water into the pump, but before any discharge gate has been opened. Then note the residual pressure on the compound gauge after getting the line into operation at the standard nozzle pressure, and then determine the percentage of the drop. In this case, we'll use 80 as our static pressure. After we supplied one fire attack line, we noticed a drop in our intake pressure of 12 pounds, which left 68 PSI as our residual pressure. A simple way to determine the percentage loss of your static pressure is to begin to ask yourself, what is 10% of 80? In this case, that equals 8. And then simply take your answer and add half of the 8, which is 4, and that'll tell us what 15% is. In the case of 80, 15% is 12. Then to determine what the 25% loss is, you simply add 8 and 12 together, which equals 20. In the case of our sample of 80 PSI, we had a loss of 15%, which was 12 PSI. Based on the 15% loss, we would be able to supply two times the amount of water being delivered.